Howdy folks. Let's now install WebDriver IO. All right, there's two ways to use WebDriver IO. One is with the standalone mode, which allows you to run it just like a um, node script here. You can just require WebDriver IO. The other one is using the test runner, which is the one I'm gonna go over more in depth on, which allows you to run your code using something like Mocha or Jasmine or Cucumber. And you can write your tests like this. So let's install this now. All right, so let's make a directory where we're gonna store our tests. Call it WDIO tests. So now we just need to initialize it as a node module. All right, good. So now we're ready to install WebDriver IO. I'm using the at next because it's currently in beta. But if you're watching this video and it's not in beta anymore, you can you don't need to use the at next. All right, so we have that installed. The next thing we need to do is install the CLI tool. So let's do that. All right, perfect. So now we have WebDriver IO installed and the command line tool. So we can start configuring it now. So all we have to do, node modules and run this command, and it'll start asking us some questions. Where should our test be launched? We wanna use local. The Lambda is not currently completed yet. So let's just use local. Shall they install it for us? Yes. Um, we're gonna run it on a local machine. Um, if you wanted to do more complicated things, you might do it in, uh, on Sauce Labs or Browser Stack, or if you have your own Selenium, but let's just do it on a local. What test framework are we gonna use? We're gonna use Mocha right now. You have the options of Jasmine or Cucumber. We'll let them install it for us. And we want to use synchronous or asynchronous. We're going to use synchronous. Um, this makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about async await. Um, let's use just fibers in the background. So let's just do sync. Where do we want our specs to be located? All right. So I'm going to override the default and just do a test directory. And now what reported do we want to use? We can do multiple reporters if you want. I'm just gonna use the spec. I think that's kind of the default. So let's do that. Let's let them install the reporter for us. And then do we wanna add in any services? I'm not gonna go into this too much right now, but there's different services. Um, if you wanna do your, run your uh, tests on sauce, uh, browser stack, testing bot, is Firefox profile, Selenium standalone. Which ones? We're not going to use any, so let's just hit enter. And the level of logging verbosity. We're just going to do info right now. And the base URL. We'll keep it at localhost. And what it's going to do now is install these packages for us. All of this stuff can be um, configured later on, so it's not a big deal if you put in the wrong option. So now everything is configured. The one thing I want to do is open up our package.json. Since we're in the um, beta phase, these packages um, don't have the correct version number or the beta version. So let's modify those now. So let's just put them all to beta. If you're watching this video and it's not in, if WebDriver is not in beta anymore, you don't have to do this. So now let's just remove our node modules.
and npm install again. And we should be good to go. You can see also that this created a WDIO config file for us here, which is stored all our settings that we, we just went through. So let's actually open that up and change one thing. Since we're gonna be using Chrome driver, Let's modify our capability to Chrome here. 